The Raiders offense knew they were going to be facing a challenge with Tampa Bay's number one ranked defense. After the game, I spoke one on one exclusively with wide receiver Hunter Renfro and we started our conversation right there. What did they do on the field that made it so difficult for you guys to move down the field? Uh, just athletic. Um, I think I think I really do think our offensive line played really well for the amount of time they they had to prepare for him. Um, so I really think uh, a lot of credit goes to our offensive line um, because it's tough to do what they did. Uh, but at the same time, whenever we get the ball in the red zone, we got to score. Point, we got to score touchdowns, and I think that's something that has been a big, um, kind of a big thing for us um, from last year, and as well as going for to get to where we want to get to, and so just scoring, scoring touchdowns in the red zone for sure. This has been described as a weird week for you guys. Obviously, having guys not at practice, uh, your entire offensive line. How much of an impact did you see on game day today of not having those guys all week long? Um, it was interesting. It was different. I think it was more different for those guys than for us. Uh, we went um, we went through our, our work and our practices like normal, and um, I think everyone did a great job of kind of zoning that out um, as much as we could. Uh, but I'm sure it was incredibly tough for those guys to sit at home, um, those, those offensive linemen to sit at home and try to do Zoom meetings and all that. But uh, I thought they did a great job. Tom Brady, especially in the first half, uh, you know, put on a little bit of a clinic in terms of just picking away. As an offensive guy, when you're on the sideline, do you catch yourself watching what he's doing out there? Yeah, I think you, as an offensive guy, you sit there and you try to learn from people who, who have done it before. And when you're sitting back there on the sideline, you're like, oh, that's a great route, even though you don't want it to, uh, them to catch it. Uh, but you're always learning. Um, and they did a great job, and uh, we just got to play better. What does this team have to do? Three and three right now, which is in a decent position here after six games. I know you wanted it to be better. As we move forward now with two straight road games beginning next weekend in Cleveland, what does this need, team need to do to regroup and move forward? Yeah, I don't think the record should matter. I think all that matters to us is just getting better. And if we can do that and sneak our way into the playoffs, it doesn't matter what seed we are or whatever it is, just keep getting better to be the best version of us, be the best team that we can be. And if we can do that, then you can't ask of anything else. And um, so we'll go back to practice on uh, Wednesday and, and try to accomplish that. Hunter, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you again. The Raiders missed out on making a little history by beating a third Super Bowl winning quarterback in the first six weeks of the season. Right now, they'll just settle for a W. And they'll go for that on Sunday as they travel to Cleveland for a 10 a.m. kickoff that you can watch right here on Fox 5. At Allegiant Stadium, Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.